Cancer is such a complex problem that we need the greatest minds from all disciplines to engage in the fight. At the Harper Cancer Research Institute, we bring in a strong cadre of non-traditional researchers from other disciplines such as physics, mathematics, and engineering to join us in the fight against cancer. We actually have more engineers working on cancer-specific problems than any other basic science institute. One great example of a collaboration between a tumor biologist and an engineer is the project between Drs. Reggie Hill and David Goh on pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer is just about the worst in terms of patient prognosis, mainly due to lack of a good method for early detection. As much as I can accomplish on my own as a cancer biologist, there comes a point where I need help from somebody who does something very different. And in this case, in pancreatic cancer, what we needed was somebody who could help me create a device to actually isolate biomarkers from blood or saliva so that we could actually detect pancreatic cancer earlier in patients. So Reggie and David are testing the idea that microRNAs might be a marker for detection of pancreatic cancer in a simple blood sample. But the real challenge is to come up with a way to detect the microRNAs, and that's where David comes in. So David uses what's called a microfluidic platform, essentially a, a tiny lab on a chip, to detect exosomes that contain these microRNAs. And essentially David's device captures the exosomes, blows them open, and detects the specific microRNAs. So this is the Chang Microfluidics Lab here at University of Notre Dame. While we're primarily an engineering lab, we have researchers from all different disciplines, including physics, electrical engineering, biology, I myself come from a biomedical engineering background, all with a combined focus on developing the next generation diagnostic tools. One of our primary applications for that is cancer screening. The cool part of this though is that he uses acoustic waves, essentially sound waves, to break open the exosomes to release the microRNAs for detection. The beauty of this biochip is that it uses very inexpensive components. The sensor itself is a commercially available membrane that is fairly inexpensive, and the body of the biochip is entirely made out of plastic. Hence, we anticipate the entire cost of the chip to be between one or two dollars. This project is really a great example of how Harper's interdisciplinary approach brings together researchers from different fields with a common goal to do something that otherwise would not have been possible. Early detection is the biggest problem that we have in pancreatic cancer. We can't detect it early the way we can with prostate cancer or breast cancer. So, uh, this was something that I couldn't do at another institute that didn't give us an opportunity to work together for this type of project where you can bring together cancer biologists and engineers to really create a very novel solution to this problem. At the Harper Cancer Research Institute, collaboration is our foundational principle.